Should you care about critical thinking? Let's talk about what it is and why I feel like you should care about critical thinking. So first, let's go through a quick few concepts of what is critical thinking. And once we go through these, this might answer your question, but at the end, I will share my thoughts and why I think it's important you should care about critical thinking. So number one, a trait of critical thinking is clarity. So for critical thinking, you need to be able to look at what's going on, evaluate the situation, and to determine a clear and concise way of thinking about the situation or whatever is going on. This can be something, it can be hard in the heat of the moment, but the more you practice and the more you have repetitions of dealing with different situations or concepts or talking to people, you can start to see your knowledge and experience build up and you can be more critical thinking in those types of situations. Number two, critical thinking requires evidence. So this is not something where you have to have your 10 MLA cited sources or APA cited sources, none of that nonsense. It's just, do you have enough ed evidence to make a clear and concise determination about whatever the situation is? This is something if you have two people coming up and they're both arguing that something happened and giving you two separate stories, what does the evidence say? It's not that one person walks up and tells you a story and you instantly go, oh, that's true because they said so. Because then what happens when the second person walks up and they have a completely separate story? You have to be able to make that determination of when somebody tells you something, what is true or what is not. I often think of this picture that I see going around on the internet, which is, you know, Abraham Lincoln saying that you can believe anything on the internet because it's true, but critical thinking requires evidence. You can't just go and read some random web page and take it as being fact or factual in any way. You need evidence to back up what it is. This is something we see a lot in our society with the internet. Clarity is really hard to determine because there's so much information, but then that information, what is credible and what is not, to be able to evaluate what is good evidence and what is not has become difficult. But being able to do that is part of being a critical thinker and to, to be able to determine what the truth is. The third trait of critical thinking is objectivity. This is something where you can be objective in a situation. So I use the example of two people coming, arguing different sides. Now what happens if the first one that comes up to you is your friend and they're telling you a story and you believe them and you buy into it because they're your friend and they wouldn't tell you anything that wasn't true. But what if the story they've told you was something they heard that was passed along through information? You know, person to person, I know a guy who knew a guy who saw this thing type of situation but then you have somebody else that they saw it firsthand and they tell you something and it contradicts your friend. Are you going to reject what the second person said because your friend told you something different or are you going to believe your friend strictly because they're your friend? In critical thinking, you have to be objective and evaluate the evidence and look for clarity in the situation. If you simply just believe whatever is convenient or whatever you want to, you may reject what is the truth. So you have to be able to evaluate, look at the evidence, but also be objective. What are the motives behind this person saying what they're saying? How did they get their information that they're saying is true? I've seen it in many instances where somebody will come up and say, oh my gosh, have you seen this, this, and this? And I say, that's so strange. I've not heard that. Where did you hear about that? Oh, I read it on such and such website, and it may be some random person's blog or something that's just completely not true. Or it could be something that is true, but it's taken out of context and kind of warped, and it becomes something else entirely. You have to be able to look at the evidence, be objective, and make a determination from there. Number four, and this kind of ties in everything to this point, is you need to be able to be somewhat analytical while you're critically thinking about a situation. What I mean by this is you need to be able to break down complex arguments. So again, think about it. If somebody comes up and they're rattling off a story to you, just this, 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 and they're going point, 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 and you have to be able to break it down and say, okay, 
where did this come from? Where did this come from? Where did you get this information? You have to break it into smaller parts and evaluate it in smaller sections. A good way of doing this especially is when you're communicating to someone else. When you have a very complex idea, can you break it down into smaller segments? Can you use analogies or examples to communicate it in a more effective way? These are all parts of being a critical thinker is you need to be able to look objectively and beyond the whole, this big, huge picture, and be able to say, okay, instead of this big, huge picture, let me take this small section and put it here and let me evaluate it. And then I'll take this other small section and I'll put it here and I'll evaluate this. You look at it in different ways and evaluate it in sections so that it helps you get the clear clarity. You can be more objective and you can determine what is right. So number five, critical thinking requires you to be able to pick up on information and determine what is truthful in that information. This is based on the evidence, the facts, things that you've seen and experienced to be able to extrapolate or examine what is truth in a given situation or a given story. Being able to be a critical thinker is you're taking all of these components, you're taking the evidence, you're taking smaller sections of it, you're being objective in the situation, and you're looking at it piece by piece to be able to pick up on what's inferred in the situation, what's the goals, what's the intentions, what's the motives behind it, you look at it objectively, you evaluate it based on the evidence, and you start to examine, okay, what is true and what is not. This is something I feel like is lost a lot in our modern society where we take things and run with them as true without evaluating them. It can be something where you hear it on a TikTok in 30 seconds, you can hear it on YouTube in a few minutes, and instantly that's true and we're off to the races with whatever that is. But does it actually line up? Even from a Christian perspective, this is something I've run into where somebody will say, the Bible says this, but they don't quote scripture. They don't list where it comes from. Or maybe it's somebody they've not even read it and they've been told that the Bible says that and they've not went and evaluated it for themselves. You have to go and read the source. You have to go back, find the evidence and evaluate it. So to summarize all of this, and why you should care about critical thinking. I hope it's become more clear in me talking about it. It's a way to determine what is right, what is wrong, what is truthful, what is maybe misleading, to evaluate what are false claims, what are true claims, what are things that align with maybe a biblical worldview or good leadership qualities, because there's many voices out there. There's millions and billions of people at this point on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all of those things. They're all vying for your attention. They're all wanting you to look at them and believe a certain thing, to buy a certain product, to believe a certain way of living is the right way of living. But you have to be critical in how you look at that. Look at it objectively, evaluate the evidence. Look at what makes sense, what aligns to a good biblical worldview, what aligns to good moral values, what aligns to what you need to follow in your life. It's not about what other people are saying, it's about what is true and what is right. And that is the importance of critical thinking. You have to be able to evaluate, to examine, to analyze, be objective, and you can discern what is true. But I challenge you, when you start to look at situations that are confusing or you're hearing a lot of hearsay, that this is right, that's right, look at this, this is what this says, start to look at the evidence. Start to try to track down the origins. Where does it come from? What are the motives? And how can I discern, is this accurate information? If you start doing that and you start looking more critically, I promise you, you're going to find a lot of interesting things as you go through and probably not in the way that you would think but I can't tell you all of those on my own. It's something you have to go and research on your own, but be critical thinking and examine the evidence for yourself.